How many unauthorized beds have you climbed? And I'm not saying you didn't repent. No, you repented. But did you deal with thou shalt not excel? We're in 2019. Deal with 2019. Rungo no 2010. During the World Cup, you were excited. The World Cup is in Africa. <laughs> Can you come here? I also want to score this World Cup. You scored in the World Cup. <laughs> but Ruben, <laughs> 2019, you are not scoring anymore. Where it matters. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal. Later on, when he came along, he couldn't bless Reuben. Because Moses was of a lower ranking than Jacob. He couldn't reverse it. All he could say is, Lord, you could just make a, you could just be an intercessor. And he said, Lord, because the children of Reuben, huh? They rebelled against leadership. That was the power of thou shalt not excel. So part of the power of thou shalt not excel is you have a problem with spiritual authority. It is actually a sign of the thou shalt not excel demon moving down your family. So where you are supposed to be helped, you now rebel. Even as I'm, preach, as I'm teaching the word now, you are rebelling in your mind. It's in gosh, please. It is that demonic power that is moving through your family. Thou shalt not excel. So any man of God who confronts your issues, you've got a problem with him. And if you have a problem with that, you have a spirit of thou shalt not excel. As long as you fight spiritual authority, you shall not excel. According to the scriptures. So when you have that spirit of thou shalt not excel in you, you do things that cause you not to excel. You are lazy. Thou shalt not excel. You procrastinate, thou shalt not excel. You give excuses, thou shalt not excel. You fight sound doctrine, thou shalt not excel. Are you understanding me? This one I'm talking about affects everyone under the sound of my voice. And you've got to fight it. Fight that spirit. Fight that spirit. Because you are not excelling because of that spirit. It's time we stop covering it up and just call it what it is. We are not fulfilling our destiny because of thou shalt not excel. Thou shalt not excel came from wrong sex. Don't try and come here and try and act like, like, like Virgin Mary. When you, when you know for sure, you know. You know. Tevenu, tevenu. Mm, I know you're safe, eh? Eh, poya mungaga. Eri pano, ani wangu ni wangu ni kufanya kufanya soko leo. Pele zikuwe shesha, pele zikuwe. Ah, asa zikuwe mo zambi kwenye zaka salam fureit. And now you want to marry a you want to marry a good man, upright man in the church who is serving God, lifting up his hands, worshiping God, serving God aggressively. And now you want to be married by that guy, not before you cleanse yourself. Cleanse yourself, cleanse yourself. It's funny, but it's why many people are not getting married because of where you have been. And unless you clean yourself up spiritually, which starts by admitting me, tefenyu, tefenyu, anti tefenyu. Because God will make sure that uh, somebody who had a terrible past and has not repented, 
What justice is there? Could you are then given somebody who's good and you have not you have not you have not repented, you have not washed yourself, you have not gone through deliverance. If we say altar call for sexual deliverance here, yeah, it will be where two or three are gathered in my name. As an The devil is a liar. I'm tired of fake people in church. Are you listening to me? We want real Christians, are you understanding me? Who stand up and say, Hey God, I messed up. You would go to three, four nightclubs in a night. And on that dance floor, one man is dancing with one of his legs between your legs. And then you go home with the one or third nightclub. After the two tefenus, you go and the other one just finishes off what you were thinking about the whole night. I I I can't even understand why why is Hello, you Hello, Tefenu. Ruben, thou shalt not excel, Ruben. I was at the door Moses comes back, lower spiritual ranking. He could not reverse the case. All he could do was just try and just, you know, make things a little bit easier. Listen to what he says. Hands the Lord. May Reuben live. It's in your Bible. Hans, may Reuben live. In other words, the stress was about to kill him. May he not hang himself. <laughs> no, that's what he says. Hans, and may his men not be few. Which means people did not even want to be around him. Un uncle climbing father's bed. Yet up here, I didn't know Simeon. Thereby bringing out our second injection. Simeon and Levi are brothers. Instruments of cruelty are in their dwelling place. Now, is now dealing now with Sinye. Oh, seriously. Oh, Instruments of cruelty. Witchcraft. There are people with instruments of cruelty. Somebody suffers. That's instruments of cruelty. They are in their dwelling. In other words, the father was saying, I saw what's in your house. I saw what's in your house. Now, remember, I, I, we, we, we taught that scripture about I must need go through Samaria. Remember? Huh? Right? Those two boys, it's a boys, it's a, Simeon and Levi, they are brothers. The things I'm not friends with my brothers. Right? These guys here, are you, are, you, are you here? Are you here? Their sister, Dinah, was raped huh? by the king of Shechem. Hello? Listen to what they did. They, say, they made a plan and a plot. They said, you guys, you raped our sister Dinah. Anyway, no problem, no problem. Right. We, then they say to them, the men of Shechem, we want to make a what? A covenant with you so that you can marry this, our sister that you raped, and we also marry in your family. Hello? But they said, for you to be in covenant with us, what you need to do is to be circumcised. All the men you must be circumcised. And after you are circumcised, you need about eight days to recover. Hello? 
And after these guys were circumcised, when they were still tender and in pain, on the third day, <laughs> they visited them. They visited them. They, these two brothers. <laughs> they visited them. They said, we are going to deal with you. And they killed all the men and left the women and children. And that city is what became Samaria. That's why Jesus later on said, I must need go through Samaria. I need to fix some things in Samaria. Are you getting it now? Look at this. Simeon and Levi are brothers, instruments of cruelty in the dwelling place. Carry on. Let not my soul enter their council. Huh? No, my honor be united into their assembly. Why? Consequences. For in anger they slew a man. And in their self-will, they hamstrung an ox. I mean, these guys were not just cruel to people. They were cruel to animals. SPCA is looking for you. Special protection against cruelty of animals. Why is the SPCA here for now? Cruel. Une utsinye. But listen to Kutu Tsinyo Shoa Vakupi. Next verse. Cursed be their anger. Now he's dealing with people with anger problems. That anger that you are saying is a process. Hind Nash. Kutu Tutumas. Hind Nash. Hindim Sadam Mutanga. Hind Nash. Hind Gashati Rua. Hashubne Mush. Listen to what he says. Cursed be their what? Their anger. And then, you see, we think that angry people are people who blow up. But they are those who keep it inside. And they are on the way back up. Because one day, I'm going to say, 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 be their anger, for it is fierce. Are you seeing that? It is what? Fierce. And their wrath, for it is cruel. I will divide them in Jacob and scatter them in Israel. So because of anger, your things are cursed. Scattered. It's. Okay, yeah, Ruben Taibat. Okay, yeah, Simeon and Levi. Look at me. There comes Moses now. Down the lineage of Levi. Fifth generation from Levi, Moses comes. Hello? What does Moses do? Moses, number one, he kills a person. In the, in the desert, he buries it. But someone sees. Hello? Then he becomes a fugitive. Where did it come from? The anger of Levi. His great, 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 great grandfather. What does the Bible say about Moses? The meekest man on the earth. Huh? But the meekest man had a family trait. A weakness from the forefathers to the end that he killed a man. The meekest man killed a man. Josiah killed a man. Now, jo Josiah is the meekest man in this church. But Moses, the meekest man on the earth. What does that teach you? Everybody has a jewel anointing. There is a good side to you and there is a bad side to you. So don't try and project your good side when we are talking about the bad side. Oh, Mr. Moses. I know He ran away because he killed someone? Because of anger? Hello? Right? Later on, Moses is angry. He throws down the Ten Commandments. And you know, as I was driving here meditating, you know what the Lord said to me? He said, son, you must tell them this. Be careful. Are you listening to me? Be careful of when you are angry to throw down the word of God. To say, ah, the Bible is not necessary. 
Ah, it's no shoe That is throwing down the what? The commandments because of anger. So anger can cause you to throw away the word and you sin. That's deep. So he threw down the commandments. Hello? Then one time, the people were thirsty. Huh? And the Lord said what? Speak to the rock. This is it. He spoke to the rock. What happened? Water came out. This is And the people were satisfied. Then the people disobeyed. And what happened? God said, speak to the rock. And Moses, he smote the rock. He didn't speak to the rock. He hit the rock. And the Lord said, Moses, 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 Moses. We met the other day on the mountain. You should have known who I am. I taught you all these things. You should know that the rock is Jesus. Instead of speaking to Jesus about the issue, you are now striking the rock. Moses, ah, 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 ah. you remind me of your great-grandfather, Levi. So because of that, Moses, you are not entering the promised land. Moses fasted, Moses prayed, but God said, Moses, don't talk to me about this thing again. You are not entering the promised land. In fact, it's time for you to come home. That's how Moses died. Anger, unresolved anger. Une hasha. Se kuti ununzi wa kudedera. What is it? Ito vapa no, vapa, 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 Because of that anger, you will not enter the promised land. Ah. Okay, okay, no problem. You will not enter the promised land, Mr. Jewel Anointing, Mr. Meekness. Asha, Asha, Ukasha. I shall not zip them cuts. What's the title of the writers? As long as the poor, unless you come to go over, over, I will move again. I will get a chance to go to Amberan. Let's go to me. Listen to me carefully. Hasha Zako, this is a two. Two. Super two. Tell you about super two. One, Zuta can go. Two, Zuta would zero us up in the promised land. Anger is not permitted in the promised land. I don't know what you are going to do with your anger. That was the main. That was the main. Eh, Moses, I got to the Oliver. Moses. The deliverer of Israel was not allowed to enter. The deliverer couldn't enter. Asha. So when you are a person with anger, you suffer from cruelty, unforgiveness. You have a revenge spirit. And the Lord said to me this morning, He said, Son, even when you pray about witches, I mean, this was powerful. By now, by this time now, I was bathing now. He says, he says, son, even when you pray about witches, I don't want you to pray from the position of revenge. He said you must pray from the position of defending the next generation. Not good, yeah. He says, when you have that yeah spirit, you're like Moses, you won't enter. <laughs> That's why the witch is still alive. Because you are not, you see, it's like Simeon and, 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 and Levi. The, in, what, what, what they did, huh? if you look in the natural, it seemed justified. But it was the wrong motive. So God is looking at the motive inside here. Also, you are pretending to make a covenant with these guys. So when you are 
when you are a person of anger. What's that? I need to study. I don't want to do something calculating. I don't want to try time. I go near to pull it. No, no, no. Down near to muruki. I should dend them. Mira, oh, the packet people go near to muruka. I should dend them. In the band, I should pay that. I should dend them. Because by chaputi kaka, I can't funga. You know, that's why the Lord opened my eyes. You know that scripture in Hebrews. I think Hebrews twelve. Pursue peace with who? With all men. Huh? You know, God opened my eyes. I said, Lord, why all men? He says, because all men are Jakukanya. At some point, everyone you know will mess you up. He didn't say pursue peace with some men. He says with all men. So everyone you're in a relationship with, it will be tested. Pursue peace with all men. Not redundant or wrong age. If you don't deal with anger, you end up cruel. If you don't deal with cruelty, you end up in witchcraft. There's something they're angry about. Talk to witches. There are, there's something. <laughs> there's something that they're angry about. Punish and get now it's no longer about justice. It's about cruelty. I'm not talking about you guys are good people. I'm funge I'm funge Lord, why did you give me a sermon for another church? I pastor good people. They don't think like this, Lord. That devil is a liar. You better get rid of that cruelty. Okay, okay. Let's assume that you think you don't have the cruelty problem. Just think about your ex-boyfriend. On a face, that's problem. He wasted my time. And my prayers are going to And I decree <laughs> in the name of Jesus. <laughs> now you are bringing Jesus into your cruelty. In the name of Jesus. Simeon. Anger also comes from jealousy. I'll deal with this in our close. <laughs> Jealous. Where does jealousy come from? Jealousy comes from people who miss the boat. They miss their opportunity. Now they despise somebody who's in their season. When you're jealous, if someone buys a car, you can't say any good comments about the car. Hey, look at Japan. I saw my Japan road. I did not see back out. My pastor on it. Headlight is not on up. I'm not a number of rubber. I'm not a headlight. The headlight is a rubber. Who's that? The headlight is a rubber. I'm not a rubber. Jealous people are people who miss their season. You'll be amazed how many pastors were pastors before me that say that this is not a real church. This church you come to here, 
Za iche shayere. Iche shayere. Isma church tuna ziva isu. Tuna zama church anuwa 5,000. Not 500. Waruka church kako. Go and check how many members he has. Go and check. His favorite scripture is where two or three are gathered in my name. There I am in the midst of them. Many are called, few are chosen. <laughs> Toma scripture, I know they why. Why? Jealous missed your season. Jealous people, they will, they, will, they will be frustrated about your success. They will say, why do you need three cars? That's a jealous spirit. It's a hidden one. And they will bring an economic reason. You know, you could have done so many things with that money. I can think of like three, four, three, four, five investments you possibly could have made. Um, okay, why don't you make those investments? You can't because thou shalt not excel because thou art jealous. And jealousy, jealousy I mean, it's not like adultery which is just visible. Ah, shasha, you need to pay help in the nap. No, you don't see that. Jealousy, you don't cut. Sins that are inside. Not like a wonder man, Jim Church. Munano yaka takura jealous, Jim Church. Jealous, chara voice, Jim Munaru, Jim Bam Kwayom. So, I know you're not a man. In the young Africa, blue, young Africa, Merun. Lord, we worship the Lord. I live to memo Jealous people. Ingo chara mna rejela sutu watenga stand jeti. Watenga stand. Kubi? Oh. Kumadokero. Ah. Kukuporodi wa shaya. Nika ziriku wanu kwenye kukukuroyo. Saka sarao kukuroyo. Because uka waka kwe 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 amini. That's a minute uka wake. Hakuna mapoto. Oh. Saka hita mari. What do you see? Why? <laughs> I know someone. I can take at the same stand. You are taking eleven. I know someone. I can take seven. Then we can go up Vunza. Jealous people don't want you to be happy about your breakthrough. They want you to be as unhappy about your breakthrough as they are. Jealous people. You can't succeed with jealousy. You can't. Can I tell you what it is to teach this? It's called love. Because he who the Lord loves, he chastises. Kutsiurwa is a sign. It means kuti destiny yako irukuto chengetezwa. Ramangwana rako irukuto chengetezwa. Urukunzi visa hasha izo. Visa hasha. And I call it a hasha. I call it hasha. Satan <laughs> These are the things I'm closing. These are the things that mess us up. And we need God to help us out of these things. Can only problem me, Asha? Tanya. Can Paul go Tanya? Papa, when we go Tanya, we start attitude. Paul go Tanya. Paul's going to say, Asha, we go to Tanya. We go to Namfundis. We go to Asha. 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 Nenzara ya waita pao tsanya nye asha. Enga on top of enga. No, make up your mind. This thing can hinder me from getting to the promised land and I'm going to make up my mind to fight it. 
So we've been screaming about the blessing. We've been shouting about it, making declarations, and not seeing it because Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Thank God for this kind of message. Hallelujah. We know that the grass withers and the flower fades, but your word is eternal.